You've heard the phrase a thousand times, Minnesota nice. Tonight, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has a story from Lake Waconia that proves it's a real and beautiful thing. Life. Okay, hold us in there, Andrew. Can take you for a ride. All right, here we go. Oh, there you go. Sometimes <laughs> you catch a good day. Oh, maybe. Is it a bad? Sometimes. Will, you want to hold it? Yeah. A good day turns bad. I'll always remember it, August 20th, 2020. So one month after my daughter was born. To understand how bad this day was, you have to know how good life was. In 2006, on her last week of college, Lindsay met Joe. And what was it, do you think, that drew you to her? Um, kindness. She's just super kind, super selfless. I bring her out and she keeps me grounded. We work well. A team, a love that multiplied with Will, Andrew, then baby Olivia. I felt the lump when um, I was pregnant, but I didn't think anything of it. But it was something. Yeah breast cancer. Yeah. It had spread to a lymph okay, node, liver, and her bones. Cancer. Are there any words for the different emotions that came to you hearing stage four? Well, right away you think death. I had a one month old baby um, and two little boys and hearing I had stage four breast cancer at 36 years old was just quite a shock. It's, it's still a shock. It's still kind of surreal sometimes. You really had to live out your marriage vows. Yep. Sickness and health, and I, I think about it a lot differently, and I've thought about it a lot lately. Never thought of it as testing my vows. It was never Lindsay was sick. We were sick. You know, we had to get through this. As you can imagine, being a caregiver is really hard. I mean, he takes care of me, but he also has to take care of the kids. So she decided to take care of him, despite the mounting medical bills. Joe has been wanting a boat for, I mean, as long as I can remember. Hey, Will, you want to make sure we don't bump the dock too hard? When you have a cancer diagnosis, it's one of those things. I mean, maybe it, it's cliche, but it's live life to the fullest, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait because who knows what's going to happen. Um, so good job. Let's just do it. Here we go. Joe okay. found this one. We don't, I don't think we need that one. We're on good. Facebook Marketplace, listed for $27,000 over their budget. But still, he thought it was worth a call to the owner. He talked, I talked, we asked questions, and I thought, I want to sell it to this guy. I don't know why. You but just it was felt just, that? yeah, I just thought, I want this guy to buy the boat. So we're going to go menu, menu. Joe was supposed Camera to go look at it in person. You just kept telling Mama, we need a boat. But oh suddenly, yeah. canceled. I text Christine, I'm like, I can't make it. My kid broke his arm. And then she's like, okay, I understand. He sent her this photo. Christine showed it to her wife. Valerie came into the office. I was sitting there talking with Joe when we first found out. And we both started crying. And she called me back. She goes, does your wife have cancer? I said, yeah. When he told me she had stage four cancer, I thought, we lost our, our best friend to that. Their beloved friend was also a devoted mother to three. Julie was, she was another gift, you know. She made everything happen. So you saw Julie in that family, in that photo? I did, yeah. Nice, Sandy. Oh, so Christine and Valerie decided to give Joe and Lindsay. This is sweet. Their boat. I just knew we did the right thing. And I said, live life. That's all that. That's really all that mattered. Both Lindsay and I were in tears, very excited. We we're thinking happy, yeah. <laughs> joy, can't believe it. And she, you know, when she mentioned, she goes, we just want you guys to take the rest of the money that you're going to spend on it and go live life to the fullest. This was truly just amazing, and we'll never forget it. I mean, it's impacted our lives in so many ways, just to be able to have these adventures with the kids. And with each other. Strangers for a minute, best friends quickly. Bonded forever by a vessel oh, yeah, of love. In Waconia, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News. Uh, the families regularly have dinner together, and they're actually planning a group vacation later on this summer. Can you? Yeah.
Uh, Lindsay's committed to fighting hard as she starts a new round of radiation, and she says she is focused on all the new adventures to come. So pretty amazing. It is. It's incredible.